A uh, neighbor was getting rid of this kid's wagon and the main problem with this one is the floor is rotted out from being overloaded and in the weather. So I figured that's easy enough to fix and that way our kids won't have to fight over the one that we have. I've never encountered the Robertson uh, quite this large. Must be two sizes bigger than the number three. But I think I can just stick a flathead one in there and turn them this way. Ah. Try a bigger one. There's a lock nut on the bottom, which I need to hold with a wrench. Well, maybe it wasn't the weather that killed it. Maybe it was just this bottom not being up to the task. I'll just cut my new bottom piece to be the same size as the old one. The old bottom is broken lengthwise, so I just take the length from this slot to this slot, plus seven millimeter on each end makes 14 millimeters. That means my new length is to here. And for cross cuts like this, I like to make a backward scoring cut first so I don't get teared on the bottom. Now my new plywood is a wee bit thicker than the old stuff, so I'll have to widen these slots a little bit. I'll just have to get the end caps off. I just widened that slot on either side, but I don't want to make this part too thin or this part too thin, so it's still too narrow. So I'll have to shave off a bit off the edge of the plywood. I'm going to trim down the edge by passing against the table saw blade like this, but I have to make sure the plywood is securely against the fence, which is why I have this feather board to really press it on there. I know someone will ask, why is there a dial indicator right here? Well, just for the magnet, because this push stick that I'm using for a spacer to get this above the blade, that has a tendency to rotate rather easily. So if I stick this mag switch type of dial indicator right here, that keeps it from spinning. Next problem is that these nails didn't really hold the sides together. Oh, and they just break too. One of these slats is broken and another one missing, so I made a couple of new ones to go on there. I had to pre-drill these nails because sometimes they would split. And for bending it over to the other side, I bend it over before it's driven all the way in and then drive it all the way in, bang against the metal and that really buries the end of the nail in the wood.
I got one more addition to this wagon. It's this thing here. It's a trailer hitch. That way the kids will be able to make a train out of the wagon. 